Okay, so if you want to do well in algebra, well, you definitely need to know how to solve a problem like this without using a calculator. All right, so let's take a look at the problem. We have 125 to the negative one-third power. Now, the topic here really is negative exponents, and of course, we are dealing with powers and exponents, but specifically, we have a negative exponent. All right, now, if you think you have an answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. Okay, so we have 125 to the negative one-third power. What is this equal to? Well, let's take a look at the correct answer. The correct answer is one-fifth. All right, now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I forgot all my rules about powers and exponents in algebra. Can you go over these and teach me? Well, I definitely can. Okay, so to solve this problem without using a calculator, you need to understand how to work with powers and exponents. And that means you need to understand the properties of powers and exponents. And this is a topic that you study in algebra. Now, in this particular problem, our base is 125 and our exponent is negative one third. So we have a negative exponent and we need to understand how to deal with negative exponents. So we have a specific property. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. Now, this particular property tends to confuse a lot of people, but uh, let me go ahead and tell you the property. So it's a to the negative n power is equal to one over a to the n. So you can see here, we're going from a negative uh, exponent to a positive exponent. So let's take a look at an example here. So we'll just follow the pattern. So you can see here, two to the negative uh, third power is equal to one over two to a positive third power. Okay, so this is how this uh, property works, but uh, this uh, property in its form right here still tends to confuse a lot of people. I'm gonna show you a better way to think of negative exponents. Okay, so the easiest way to think of negative exponents is the following. So let's take a look at this fraction. Here I have in the numerator, four to the negative uh, third, and down here in the denominator, I have three to the negative five power. Okay, so this rule, this negative exponent rule, effectively means this. If we take our power and move it to the opposite side of the fraction bar, the sign becomes the opposite sign. So in this case, we're gonna go from negative to positive. Now, if we take this uh, three to the negative five in the denominator and we move it up to the numerator, it's gonna go from negative to positive. So we have three to the fifth power. So this is effectively how you deal with negative exponents. And we can see this in this example right here. So I have one over x squared. If I wanna write this up in the numerator, I'm gonna have to go from a positive two to a negative two. So one over x squared is equal to x to the negative two power. So this makes a lot of sense here because if we take a look at this uh, property, if I think of this uh, uh, power here, two to, two to the negative three over one, what I'm doing is really taking this uh, power and moving it to the opposite side of the fraction bar. So that's gonna be one over two to the positive three power. Okay, so once we understand this particular property, well, we can go ahead and apply it to solve this problem. Okay, so here we have 125 to the negative one third power. We're gonna have to keep this negative property in mind, but uh, here we have this base of 125. Now remember, we're not using a calculator, so we need to kind of use a trick here or a strategy, and that is uh, to write this 125 as a power itself. So what power is equal to 125? Okay, so again, we're not using our calculators, but these are kind of easy numbers. So 125 is the same thing as five times five times five, right? Because five times five is 25 times five is 125. Okay, so we wanna write this base as, uh, not as 125, we're gonna write that as a power. So now we have five to the third power, all this to the negative one third power. Okay, so what do we do next? Well, we're going to have to use another property of powers and exponents. So that property is the following. So when you have an outside exponent to an inside exponent or a power, 
that has an outside exponent. All you have to do is multiply the outside exponent to the inside exponent. So for example, two to the third power to the fourth power is equal to uh, two to the 12th power. Again, we're just simply multiplying the exponents. All right, so that's what we're gonna do right here. So five to the third, or five to the positive three power, all this to the negative one, thir uh, negative one third power is equal to what? Well, five to the positive three power, all this to the negative one third power, we're going to multiply three times negative one third. All right, so three times negative one third, of course, I know you are an expert in fractions. This is gonna be equal to negative one. Okay, so now we're down to five to the negative first power, and uh, we are almost done. And let's go to take uh, the next step, which of course is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now my goal on YouTube is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable and interesting manner, but I'm also trying to reach as many people as possible, and I need your support to do that. So the best way to support this channel is to simply hit that subscribe button and if you're going to do that, hit that bell notification as well. Now, the topic that I am covering in this video is powers and exponents. And I teach this in my pre-algebra, Algebra 1, Algebra 2, and Math Skill Rebuilder courses. I'm going to leave links to all those courses in the description of this video. And when you take a course from me, you're going to get the following. All right, so this is a screenshot for one of my courses, but in every one of my courses, you're going to get a full comprehensive lesson on each topic. I'm not talking about some small tutorial. I'm talking about a very detailed, comprehensive, full lesson on each topic. Also, I cover thousands of problems with full video solutions. These are the most typical problems that you're going to find in these courses. Also, I have a ton of worksheets and quizzes and even uh, downloadable and printable notes that you can study when you're not online. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish up this problem because there's really not much left to do. All right, so we had five to the third power to the negative one third. So we multiplied our outside exponent to the inside exponent, and now we have five to the negative one power. Now this right here is technically correct. However, most uh, teachers uh, do not like uh, your answer with a negative exponent, right? So it's typically most correct uh, when it comes to powers and exponents to finish out the problem where you don't have negative exponents. But this is not that difficult, especially now that we understand negative exponents. So five to the negative one, we can write as uh, one over five to the first power or one fifth. Okay, so hopefully, if you had any confusion with uh, negative exponents, and a lot of uh, students do, the way I explained this helped you out. But here's the deal, okay? Uh, if you understand this one problem, that's fantastic, but you gotta practice this stuff, all right? So remember, when you are studying math, the first thing to do is to get like a strong lesson, uh, you know, a clear lesson on that topic and then practice, practice, practice. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.